know right now is the two airplanes struck the two large towers of the World Trade Center. America has now confirmed several different cases of anthrax exposure in Florida, New York, New Jersey, and Washington, D.C. So the early days was really about getting started, understanding the role of public health, fitting in with other traditional public health responders, trying to figure out what is the role of public health and public health preparedness, and how does public health help assure the health and safety of communities. And we've come a long way since those early days. When I came here in 2002, of course, that's when the funding had just started. And so uh, it, my role is really um, evolved over time because back then we were trying to take that money and build capacity in a lot of states like Kentucky there was very low capacity at the time we didn't have a very strong reportable disease system our lab was out of date uh, a lot of things were not working very well so so we spent a lot of the effort back then trying to build those initial capacities. After the project officers were hired in 2002 we went off site after the first couple of months to focus not only what we wanted to look like as we grew internally at CDC, but also what we expected of the states in terms of their laboratory capacity, their epidemiology capacity. And the creation of the emergency management unit and the ability for DSLR to stand up as a state coordination task force during responses has really added all new elements to DSLR. Have we got to label it? That's good. We work very closely with our partner agencies around creating a citywide biological emergency plan. We started out initially with focus areas, and those focus areas were essentially to build capacity. What we didn't have in 2016 were common outcomes all to work toward. Because we have this logic model now, we do have these common outcomes. FEP has really changed over the years in that the system has matured. We have a much deeper body of knowledge and understanding of public health preparedness response. We have a stronger understanding of the roles of local, state, and federal public health officials and systems, as well as how the medical systems integrate. I asked this question about what, so what emergencies are you preparing for? And we were kind of in the middle of Ebola, and I was thinking there'd be, it'd be Ebola and a pandemic influenza and these catastrophic events and the answer was well we had ice storms we've had power outages kind of these day-to-day -day emergencies and it really caused me to think about what is it that we need to be preparing to be able to respond to but when I look back now 15 years later 16 years later to see what major accomplishments have been made it really it, it's, it makes me proud to have been a part of this evolution over time.